Hey, hey, what's up? It's Dakota. This is Okamogi Mounds. I had the pleasure of arriving here um, about an hour ago. So, <laughs> where do I begin? By the way, everything you're about to see is completely free. Um, this is completely open to the public, etc., etc. So, if you're in the area, visit Okamogi Mounds. It's awesome. So, first, let's start with a little history of Okamogi Mounds. What is this place? Um, who lived here? What the hell is a mound, right? So about 4,000 years ago, a Native American tribe called the Mississippians arrived in this area from Mexico. And what they discovered is that, you know, this is right after, this is right after the um, area began to start warming up and like the animals itself, they had to adapt to the climate. Now in the process of doing so, they ended up, you know, creating a little city out here. Well, little, it was quite a big city. These people um, would found quite a big um, area and call it home. I mean, this place stretches quite a bit of space, but these Mississippians or the Muskegee, uh, I'm not sure which is which, but they pretty much ended up, you know, just living here for some time. Of course, you know, you'd have your prosperous, prosperous, you know, time periods and stuff, but really, um, they eventually abandoned and also met quite a bit of harsh times, especially when it came to the Europeans arriving. But eventually they would go north, abandon this place, and found the, you know, the Etowah Mount, like Etowah Mounds in North Georgia. Now, what you're looking at right here is an old cornfield and prehistoric trenches. Pretty much, they, they'd make lines with trenches and then do corn and stuff like that um corn fun fact corn is actually native to america um if you've ever ate corn you know what I mean, you know what i'm talking about but yeah corn is actually native to america um one of the many things the europeans decided to take advantage of when they came over but fun fact um if this is muskegee which i mean i don't know but it, it, there's so many mix-ups and stuff but if it is muskegee um, this kind of somehow connects to Kolomoki and it also connects to Etowah, but most importantly, it connects to my ancestral, like, lineage. Because my great-great-grandmother on my dad's side was a Native American. In fact, she, in fact, until she got older, she lived in a teepee. Um, if you don't believe me, here's a picture of her right here. I don't know her name, really. Um, I don't know much about her. But, I mean, my dad, my dad's literally dark complected, black hair. I mean, you name it, it's literally a thing. Like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's almost as native as you could possibly get. But, right here is Okmogi's Oak Earth Lodge. It's, an, it's America's oldest ceremonial lodge. And most importantly, this is the council house. Now, what they do is, and this is... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, pretty much they would host all kinds of meetings up in here and get together and talk about problems that needed to be solved and things that would occur um, in their, you know, local area. And they would come together, these council members of about, I think it's about 30 people or so, and they'd all meet together in the center, light a fire at the top up there, and just talk and come up with solutions to the problems that they had. In a way, this kind of mimics how modern um, society works, as well as just, you know, everything. everything's literally center. Everything is based around the center. I mean, it's pretty cool. And we all have select areas and places we get together and talk and all that fun stuff. But, I mean, in general, here you have it. I mean, it's just, we're just going to go inside in a sec, but it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's go up inside here. This door, <laughs> already off the bat, I mean, this door is literally 
tiny. I mean, they were, I wouldn't necessarily tiny of people, but they were definitely something. Now, obviously I didn't have the lights back then, but if you walk up in here, and you start looking around, it's quite a big place. By the way, this place is, okay, so what they do is they all, a lot of fire in the center, like I just said earlier, and then they would essentially all spread this area. I'm guessing that shell over there is a music slash horn signaling thing, but a lot of fire up top, as you can see, and then they'd huddle around and discuss certain matters that was wrong and various things like that. Anyways, but yeah, my great-great-grandmother on my dad's side was a Native American. Yeah, fun fact. Apparently, it had a central railroad system that would go right through the, the mountains and stuff. That's insane. Now, may I add you, we're not even to the biggest, most largest part of the area. I mean, the Mississippians were quite resourceful. Next up ahead, you're gonna have the funeral mounds, the trading post site, and the Great Temple Mound. Um, all of which held different and unique purposes. But you're just gonna figure out in this video what is which, as well as I'm just gonna be your guide today. So that's fun. Um, let's do it. Another fun fact, my grandmother was Creek. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much almost positive that was, she was Creek. Um, she pretty much just was a remnant of everything that happened before. I mean, probably 18, early 1900s, give or take. Um, she was, she was clear, I mean, clear as day in Native American. And to this day, I mean, we're not exactly sure, you know, where she lived. Probably not Grady County. I'm from Grady County, Georgia. I mean, Cairo, you know, home of Jackie Robertson, and stuff like that. Um, literally, the middle of nowhere. But, yeah, I mean, in more of a context, wow. I mean, seriously, they literally cut right through it. Remember the railroad I was just talking about, like, moments ago? I mean, it cuts, like, they wouldn't lie when they said they literally made a railroad track that goes right through it. If you know me, I, I've been in, I've been on quite a, a, a bit of railroad tracks, as well as did some sketchy stuff of railroad tracks before. But I mean, literally, they they, I mean, through and through, they. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, they cut right through, which is <laughs> which is such a shame because. I mean, they didn't, they had no regard back then for the culture or anything. Most likely because it wasn't, um, Christian, which I mean, sure, whatever. But like, it's a shame that all these cultures, which keep in mind, they never touched that other religion. They were just completely caught off guard by these people and that they've never seen before. They've never seen them before. And now all of a sudden they have technology they don't have and they like like humanity in general they just decided hey let's take advantage of the ones that don't have a step over us because accordingly it always has to be killed to be killed and screw their culture screw their you know religion screw everything about them let's just go ahead and just wipe them out and make do with all their resources now it isn't like they didn't have resources here. I mean, they could have honestly learned a lot from each other, but sadly, humans are stubborn. And I mean, it isn't like every single one of them was completely wiped out. And it isn't like all of them didn't get along, right? There was always a mix of everything. But the sad truth of the matter is that these people were just took advantage of and, you know, pretty much killed and, and I hate to say it, also enslaved. I have no idea where this goes. Really. I mean, there is the main ceremonial mound way up there, but I mean, fuck it. Let's go on a little adventure. I have no idea where this goes. I mean, obviously this would be like a, an area where they used to do like fields and stuff. Uh, they probably planted. They probably had like different pathways depending on where they were at. Uh, I'm just gonna get lost. I'm just gonna get lost because I love getting lost. It's my favorite pastime. Can't read maps. I don't even have a map with me. Why, why would I fucking, why would I like distract myself more? Fuck it. But, um, let's see where this goes. I have no idea where this goes. Okay, there's a sign up ahead. 
let's actually see where that goes because i really have no clue where it goes but i mean there's a road right here so obviously it leads somewhere but um also big mound once again so let's see what this is over here so it talks about their diet and such as like you know corn tomatoes etc um this is the funeral mound um this is where they buried their dead it i've honestly been on, i've been on bigger but the fact that there's skeletal remains in that from four thousand years ago or less kind of it's a little wacky it's a little wacky i'm not gonna lie but it just yeah i mean it's still pretty cool to see the culture i mean i think i'm a I think I'm definitely going to research more of this when I'm home. But for sure, you know, now we're going to the main areas up there. I believe that's a ceremonial mound slash, um, okay. So fun little fact, when traders uh, used to travel through, they used to essentially use that mound over there as a meetup spot. And they, they'd light like signal fires, which would tell everyone in the area that they um, they were ready to trade and, you know, talk business. But yeah, this is pretty much where they traded. I mean, they had tradings, they had big events and games and ceremonies and all kind of fun stuff. In a way, this kind of connects to a, like, um, like Kolomoki. Um, it's just south of here, about like an hour or so, hour and a half from here. Um, and Kalamoki was a big giant training, uh, not training, but uh, a big trading center between all of the different people who used to come from Alabama, Georgia, even some of Florida and, you know, Tennessee. And they would all, you know, come around here and trade. Hey, hey. But anyways, these people all uh, from various these different tribe members from different areas would all come together and you know trade resources and talk about their you know their encounters and just pretty much form civilizations and networks of road systems and etc and what's so cool about all this is that they just thrived out here you know before the europeans even showed up they arrived you know and that's what's so interesting is because you always hear so much about you know the heritage between um europeans and stuff but you never hear much about what happened before they arrived you know and that's always amazing you know to hear about stuff like this so the smaller one right there is the lesser temple mound and that one over there is the greater temple mound i do want to say that kolomoki is larger i never caught a video of that because of my you know bad recording skills at the time but um Kolomoki was I don't know how to describe it it was it was bigger it was steeper but in the process I mean in you know comparison these span a much wider area you know these mounds at least this is a lesser mound to your left hand side uh I don't know much about it I mean like I said it was just various types of gatherings meetings trading etc and up ahead is the bigger of the two the greater ceremony mound so i say let's get up there i mean it's quite a trek i mean look at this hill jesus but i mean i've gone up i've been on mountains and stuff like this but this still like takes me out sometimes this definitely takes me out sometimes for sure <laughs> like dang i mean i work construction i push real real like wheelbarrows of like mortar concrete supplies to and from but this is still it's something about steps and hills man something about steps and hills will literally it will literally you want to lose weight that's what you do. You go run and you do this. And I guarantee you, you will lose weight and get healthy. Cause man, my stamina is great after all this crap. 
Oh, there was a lot of people coming. This might get a little more awkward to start recording. I'll just record what I can. Here comes the fun. This will be fun. Guess get a hot? Yeah. Uh, you'll make it. You know, I took an elevator up the side of a mountain this morning. It was not fun. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm kind of scared. Oh, you'll make it. Come on, ain't that bad. Ah, uh, chick, I'm making. That is definitely making. That's definitely making. There's some travels up in there for sure. Yeah, this is quite a ways up. I wonder what they thought of when they were up here, you know? Oh, there you have it. That is Old Mogi Mounds. Now, if you guys want me to do Etowah, or any other Native, Native American mountains in the area or, you know, across the U.S., let me know. Um, I'm down to go to any of them. I mean, really, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing how these old cultures and civilizations have been left behind and forgotten about. So, anyways, if you like content like this or you would like to see more videos like this, um, or if you like what you see here on this channel, uh, I do a wide variety of things such as, you know, exploring cave systems, Going, you know, going across states on big giant road trips, exploring coral reef systems, and you name it, I've probably tried to do or did at least once. So yeah, even abandoned buildings. Anyways, if you want to show your support to this channel, feel free to leave a like. Um, I enjoy coming out here and making these videos, and again, this is once again free. So there's no excuse for you not to come out here. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will catch you again on the next video. And that's it. Peace.